Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. I just wanted to show you Consumer Reports. Some of you may not be acquainted with Consumer Reports. It's a nonprofit. They don't uh, make profit by this. And what they do is they take different objects, different vehicles, coffee makers, heaters, on and on, and they test them as a nonprofit organization. It's done by uh, people's donations and, and uh, like subscriptions to the magazine and all this, and show you what's the best, what's a scam, best cell phone plans, best computers, best phones, on and on. They do all kind of stuff. And so it's very inexpensive. And so when you go to buy a vehicle, when you go to buy something, you can really get the, the lowdown on whether it is the best. You don't have to walk into it blind. Now, if you kind of, God's kind of telling you to do something, you feel led to do it, then do that. But I'm telling you otherwise, and then it goes into what's the best customer service, all kind of stuff. Like, here's rating the best bike helmets. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they just get into all kind of stuff. Will these shirts protect you from the Zika? Anatomy of a bike crash. Um, I want to switch to an Android smartphone. Will I be able to play my iTunes songs on it? Now, some of you say, well, I think that I can just look all this stuff online. Well, they do have a website. You can subscribe to that. And again, it just helps you. When drug prices rise, quality of life goes down. And so it's got a lot of things. The only thing, insurance coverage. The only thing I really don't like about them, besides they're kind of nanny statish, is they're really against um, uh, vitamins and supplements. And I do know that there are many synthetic vitamins and supplements that are actually bad for you. And they don't have a lot of oversight, so sometimes the things you get don't have the ingredients. So that I would agree with them. But uh, they would kind of get to the point, they said, well, vitamins and supplements are actually worthless. And I'm like, eh, not so much. And I think they can help you. And one of the best things, it does have an index at the back, and they'll also send you a thing every year that's like the best of that year. That's really good. Where they have things that are made fun of. Ignorance is bliss. Sometimes you just don't want to know. So like this. Yes, we have no coconuts. Apparently no coconuts were harmed in the manufacturing of this water. So it's a picture of coconut water. And it says it contains no coconut. Stuff like this. A meal that gives us paws. Salmon, her herring, beef. The dinner choices were looking good until we got to the kitten formula. I'm not sure what they were trying to say, kitchen formula. Usually it's misspellings, but sometimes it's like adventures and missing the obvious. Um, who was that mask fly? Fly mask, horse size without ears. So this pa packaging begs the question, what does a horse or a fly do with ears... Uh, way anyway. So without ears, 900, 1200 pounds. That's a long story. One man's crab is another man's, okay, they put a P instead of a B on the end of crab under crab delights. So good stuff, Consumer Reports. God bless you. Have a great day.